So since I posted this, uh, started posting these videos, people have been asking me about compost. Um, <clears throat> what I do know about compost, I will share with you. I'm not an expert, I just do what works for me. When I first got into composting, I bought one of those little plastic wrap around bins that you can put in the back of your, your yard or whatever, and you can put all your waste in there, um, but it does make it hard to turn it. So whenever I got into a little more expensive uh, thing, this Miracle Grow Tumbling Compost Bin. I love this bin. I will start with that. I do love this composting bin, although there are some drawbacks that are pretty easily fixable. And please watch this video before you purchase one of these. So it will save you some heartache in the long run. So <clears throat> the main feature is it's got a big opening on top. It's got a nice lid, big opening. Um, I think this is. 20 something gallon. It holds, it holds a lot. I mean, it's it's pretty sturdy. The plastic is UV resistant. Um, the only problem I've had with it, the only problem, well, two problems I've had, is these little clips. It has these little clips right here, and I'll show you in a close up, that tend to come undone when you rotate it. And when you spin it, you'll see it right here, that it starts to split open and your compost falls on the ground like it's doing right now. So, I'm going to empty this out, I'm going to clean it out, and uh, we're going to put zip ties on where these clips go. And it's going to help hold this together. We'll use UV resistant zip ties, and it'll be able to handle the sun, the weather, everything. And uh, the only other thing, I believe, was there's a clip on the other side that locks it in place. So you go out there every day and you turn this, and that's what speeds up compost. So you can do however you want to do compost. Uh, you can let it sit, it'll just take longer. If you rotate it, it's going to go quick. I bought this in November, and I put everything from birds of paradise leaves to tomato. I, I probably put six, seven, some different tomato plants in here. I put aloe, um, squash. I put everything you think of in here, and uh, it the compost looks great. But I'll show you in a close up and just a little awareness. Also, uh, when I bought this. I think it was like 70 something dollars, 60 or 70 something dollars. And I looked on Amazon the other day because someone was asking about it, and it's actually gone up like 20, 30 bucks. So that may deter you from buying something like this, but I've seen other people, they can build them out of like rain barrels, 55 gallon drums, whatever you think you can use. So uh, we'll just go through and I'll show you the close ups on these clips and on the handle on the side that's supposed to lock it in place. All right, so like I said, here's the close ups on these little pins these little locking clips they don't really secure very well in there and as you can see that one is completely missing now because it got so heavy at the bottom and there's only about 20 30 pounds in here and then this guy right here this guy is supposed to go in here and lock it in place but if i turn it see how it doesn't lock it it's just too much weight i guess it's not made to hold this heavy duty of a, of a load but we'll fix it so so this actually uh, is supposed to go in. It goes in like that. Only when I'm rotating, you lift it. Like that. And then when you put it in, it's supposed to lock it in place. But you can see that doesn't really work. All right, so my neighbor's mowing his lawn, so it's kind of loud. I'm going to put you on time lapse while I empty this compost bin out in my wagon. <laughs> As you can see, this is good looking compost, man. It's been over about six months. It's real moist and 
just I think the blacker it is the better it is man yeah I did make a mess and I figured out that little hack with the uh, cedar planks uh, so I know I know it's due for next time uh, I'll probably forget by then because it'll be next year <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll go through and we'll, we'll uh, I'm not gonna disassemble the uh, tumbler uh, but we will make our put our zip ties in and also <laughs> Uh, this piece of junk broke off. I don't think we need it, honestly. Um, it's just something else to break. So, um, also one thing, whenever you're emptying out, I thought I had something crawling on my leg. Uh, when you're doing, dumping out your compost and stuff, make sure you be really careful, because there could be snakes, black widows, uh, whatever y'all have in your area. Uh, but I did, I did see some big earthworms I thought were sn I thought there were snakes at first, so I, I threw them out in another uh, bed, but just be really careful when you're doing this, okay? All right, so hopefully y'all can see all of this. I'm gonna try not to get my big head in the way. So I'm gonna take these clips out. And if I do them one at a time, I shouldn't have to worry about them, uh, the whole thing falling apart. So I'm gonna take this off. Wow, this one's really hard to get off. Another one must have broke or something. Because it shouldn't be that hard to get off. There we go. I'll take a zip tie. Oh, that's a smart little hack someone taught me once. You never cut the zip ties at the at the top because if you uh, dump the package off, they don't dump over. So you make you a cut in the middle and pull them out like that. That's a really good hack for everybody. No matter what you do for a living. So, take me a zip tie. I want to run it right in and right on. This is probably going to be harder on the other ones. This one's right here by the, the opening. So, yeah, I may run me too, actually. Let's get nice and tight. Get in there. Go on, get in there. This is gonna be a pain in the butt on the rest of them. So. All right, so I got the cover back on. Just I'll flip it over. Get to that mean spot where it was real bad. So that's the spot, that's the problem spot right there. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna get the zip tie back up and in. Let's see. We'll get creative with this. This is the bottom. This is going to take the most, most force, pull the most weight. Oh man, lift the fan on. Dad gum it. It is amazing, but uh, as I've come to notice, like they say on Think Media, sound is everything. If you don't have sound, people won't watch the video. If you don't have video, people can't listen. Get this guy up. Come on. There we go. Oh, finger. All right. So we got two of them in there. That wasn't so bad. My finger only hurts a little bit. And uh, these little guys right here are like little fingers in there. They're aerators, so it flips everything up when you're rolling it. Where'd my pliers go? There we go. Man, work is so much more fun when you're, wearing, when you're sitting in a chair doing it. Okay. 
you know, it is a lot more complicated to make YouTube videos than, than I thought it was. I commend those teenagers making videos of them playing video games and everything because, you know, if you don't have the fan on, you had the mic turn around the wrong way, just like I just did. So, I'm sure it sounds a little bit now. The fan is actually pointing in the way it's supposed to point. <laughs> I got my compost ripped back together. Uh, let's just go put it back in the backyard and uh, we'll spread some of the compost around. All right, we got the composter back in. Spins free. It's going apart, looks good. Good to go. Let's go spread some compost.